Oh, greetings once again. My name's Mark, or Mookie, if you will. Uh, we are 88.5 The SoCal Sound. Please know we are listener-supported public radio serving Los Angeles and Orange County. If uh, you're not a subscribing member, please join us at thesocalsound.org. Got some live music in our studio today from Jenny Owen Young's. I got the vinyl right here. Uh, the record's called Avalanche. It's available right now. Jenny Owen Young's in studio. That was a great live version of It's Later Than You Think, and that's a song that our listeners listeners are familiar with because we've been playing it for several weeks now. Thank you for relentlessly disseminating my sonic message to Re your devoted listenership. Oh, of course. Um, your, the song that we just played um, or that you just played, it came to us at a time where there were a lot of heavy hitters coming out with new music, mm -hmm. right? And it was like Foo Fighters and Peter Gabriel and Pretenders like and um, yeah, I guess you could say you could say that. And then uh, the song from Jenny Owen Young's came through, and we were like, we just have to share this with people. People need to know who this musician is, and they need to hear this song. Now you've been at it for you know quite some time, for but sure. you're relatively new to us. I mean, I, and again, JennyOwenYoungs.com is the website, and you've been putting out records since what about 2007 or something, right? That'd be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And originally from where? Uh, beautiful New Jersey, the unsung Garden State. It's nice to be back in Southern California, where you spent a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. It's it's always good to be back. I lived here for five years, and. Um, it's just there are so many inarguably great things about being here, mm -hmm. which are heightened now that I'm not here 100% of the time. Right. When well, I visit, I'm like, yes. When you relocated to SoCal that one time, um, <laughs> what was the reason? To pursue music or just yeah. to get um, on the West Coast? Um, so I moved here in 2016 because, like, largely prompted by how much writing I was doing. I had made a few records, I had done a zillion loops of the country in a van and gone to Europe on tour a bunch of times and was just kind of like a little burnt out. And so I started doing co-writing sessions and I was coming here so often mm -hmm. for like weeks at a time that I was like, I guess I could just move to LA. Co-writing with who? Mm -hmm. um, well, I started out uh, doing a bunch with Dan Wilson, um, who I know you guys love, everyone loves Dan, he's sure. the best. Um, I started out in the co-writing world uh, doing a joint venture publishing deal, co-pub deal with him and a publishing company called Big Deal. And uh, I did a lot of writing with Dan and then a lot of writing with a bunch of people who are published uh, by the same company. And, mm. you know, it's like um, music publishers are like, uh, you know, ama the, the great ones are like amazing matchmakers and they just want to like put you with people that they think you'll have a good time with. Right. Uh, and I was having like a really good time. So I was like, what if I was just in LA all the time doing this a whole bunch more? Yeah. So I came here. So you basically set your career, solo career aside mm. to collaborate with other artists and write for other artists mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well, right? Write for other artists, write to pitch for film and television, that kind of stuff. Just like yeah. a whole bunch of, just a whole bunch of making stuff. Uh, I was reading, um, you linked up with Shunguzo, who we yes. absolutely love here. Shrips. Yeah, Shrips. Yeah, oh, absolutely. There's one song that, um, that she put out, It's a Good Day to Fight the System. <laughs> and uh, that song it will withstand the test of time. We'll play it forever here, you know. And then <laughs> you struck gold with um, a track with Panic at the Disco, that multiple platinum, you know, we're talking about. Bless, Long May It Rain. Amazing, right? Uh, that was. Totally nuts, <laughs> totally nuts, um, and amazing, uh, yeah. Um, which, yeah, like, all, that all sounds like really fun, right? Like a cool bunch sure. of things to be focusing on um, while taking a little bit of time away from yeah. touring and making records. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get back into the music. Uh, you did bring uh, another musician with you, John Mark Nelson. Yes. Who, it appears that you've worked together for a while now, even put out a full <laughs> record together, is that right? We've done about a zillion things together. I'm always luring him into my den of song and iniquity. Um, we made a collaborative instrumental album called From the Forest Floor uh, that mm -hmm. came out early, like in May of this year. Right. Yeah, uh, but we've worked on a bunch, we've done a ton of writing together and um, we've recorded some of my songs together as well. And he's the best. 
Uh, well, let's get into it. It's a uh, it's a version of Avalanche. It's the title track of the brand new record. Jenny Owen Young's in studio. Um, as we tape this, you got the Moroccan Lounge this evening in uh, SoCal, and then um, I think in 2024. You're hitting the UK again. Yeah, with, yeah. With, with uh, milk carton kids? For sure. Amazing. So pumped. It seems like um, you are a person for the people. You know, um, you got yes. the uh, the Patreon um, account, which, sure, uh, man, sure, when I talk sure. to musicians who have that, some of them take it really, really seriously. They're yeah. always creating and they're always sort of giving back to their uh, Patreons. Uh, what do you call those people? Patrons. Patrons, oh, if that, you please. That makes more sense. Uh, are you incredibly active on there? And I thought that um, the tier of donations um, was quite clever. There's the tiger shark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the whale shark. Sure, sure. And there's the uh, megalodon. Yes. Yeah, uh, amazing. You know, th special thanks to Jason Statham for bringing much needed visibility to the megalodon. Uh, previously, a uh, very overlooked, enormous prehistoric shark, but. Are you speaking of a movie that. Oh, was, yeah. yeah. The Meg, and more recently, The Meg 2. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, but um, you could. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so are you incredibly <laughs> active on there? And what sort of things do you provide yeah, for your yeah. patrons? Uh, well, in between the time I was, I, I uh, used to put a, I put a couple records out on network and um, many moons ago. And then I did a lot of self-releasing before uh, Avalanche came out on Yep Rock. And in between there, um, I was doing like just everything I make, you know, every song that I record, kind of like pushing things out that way. So there was like a free-flowing exchange of music. Exchange? I guess it was kind of one way. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. But um, now that I'm back on a label, that's like a little more squiggly. So we're like getting into the behind the scenes stuff. We're getting into the making of and the demos and the work tapes. And my personal favorite thing, uh, which I've dubbed Jenny Peace Theater, is a monthly group watch where we all get on Discord together. Uh -huh. And we simultaneously press play on a film of my choosing. And then we get to talk about it while we watch it. And that is a real hoot. It doesn't have a lot to do with, you know, my music, yeah. <laughs> per se, but that's kind of nice too, you know, to uh, enjoy something that's not just about, you know, me. Jenny Peace <laughs> Theater, people. are you like yes. doing funny quips, little commentary throughout the film? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep up with my constituency who are sharp and hilarious. It's, uh -huh. uh, they're, yeah, they're, they make the viewing experience just really special. And it's telling funny. me you have a smart fan base. They're Funny. Yeah. I'm scared of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, do they think I'm cool? I mean, I know technically they're here and also they paid to be here, but do they really think I'm cool? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we think you're cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and it's a pleasure to meet you today. Um, again, JennyOwenYoungs.com is the website. Uh, deep purple vinyl is what this record yes. is printed on, and uh, it's a gorgeous color. Um, early, your formative years, real quick, you uh, discovered the Beatles early on, perhaps? Sure, you've maybe heard of them. Yeah, they have a new song out. I don't know if you heard it. It's called <laughs> Now and Then. What do you think about that? No comment? Commentless. Okay, fair enough. And then in your, um, you know, as you got a little bit older, what sort of musicians were you gravitating to? Um, when I was, like, late high school, I was, like, very into Elliot Smith and Slater Kenny. Um, those were, like, my... Uh, um, Sleater Kenny just released a new song too. Tremendous. I miss Janet. I think we all miss Janet. But it's cool when <laughs> artists evolve and change, and that is sure. a beautiful thing. Sure. Um, what else is good? You you ever have that thing where somebody asks you like what you like, and your mind to every previously day. overflowing with every options day. immediately up every place. day. Yeah, it's like, uh, what music are you listening to, you know? I'd, you What's know, music? I don't know. Like, you're a comedian? Go tell a joke. Go ahead, tell a joke. <laughs> you, you might joke around a bit, Jenny Owen Youngs, on your one of your various podcasts. I try, You're I try. a podcaster, and you're killing it right now. Into the Jennyverse is one. Sure, sure. Veronica Mars' Investigations is another. Sure, and, of sure. course, Buffering. Buffering the Vampire Slayer, my beautiful... And now, kind of, now that we've finished Buffy, I guess the larger sort of verse there is uh, buffering a rewatch adventure as I desperately try to remember all of the names of my various podcasts. Um, we're, we're on to the X-Files now, For, which is very exciting. Okay, gotcha. Um, uh, we've dubbed that like sort of a sub pod, the X Files, because my podcasting partner, my main podcasting partner is my ex-wife. Uh, so we're just, you know, we're, um, hmm. 
living the progressive dream of uh, friendship after divorce and continued business partnership. Amazing. Uh, talking about Scully and Mulder, you know? Yeah. Well, at least wrong? we'll always have the X-Files. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then Veronica Mars investigations, that goes without saying, it's all about Veronica dissecting Mars, each yeah. episode of Veronica Mars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Into the Jennyverse. Into the Jennyverse really is just a m micro pod and really started as a, a Patreon initiative where um, my friend Rishi K. Shearway makes this amazing podcast called Song Exploder where he kind of like interviews bands and they, gets them to tell the stories behind the songs and then he kind of like also uh, obtains the stems and, and kind of like showcases the individual sort of like threads of the tapestry of a piece of music. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> I basically, for fun, uh, privately and with his blessing, uh, recorded some interviews with uh, my collaborators and kind of like the song exploded myself. Yes. Um, just, just for fun, just for a good time. Not for, not for any, uh, you know, uh, devious or um, underhanded ripping off of my friend in any way. Right. Just, you know, recreationally. So you, you song exploded yourself. Yes. There's, there's a, a joke there, but I'm not that clever. Um, in fact, right. Tristan and Matt, these guys might have turned me on to that podcast. Um, never heard of it. <laughs> Or never, never, never listened uh, quite yet, though. Again, Jenny Owen Young's in studio. We're going to get into one more song before we kind of let you go here. Last question for you, uh, while it's top of mind, uh, the new record, Avalanche. Yes. Is there, in fact, sort of a unifying theme? Um, what does an avalanche really mean, mm -hmm. I guess, is, the, is mm -hmm. the question. Right, okay, so for me, um, the song Avalanche, I'm not usually a big title track person, but... Yeah. It was, felt, it's just what felt correct. Uh -huh. um, but there's sort of like a, a couple of different things going on. For the song, you know, the avalanche that is referenced in the song is kind of like the, you know, um, the buildup of, of unsaid things that eventually inevitably will sort of like burst forth, you know, whether you want them to or not, mm. right? Um, mm. But then when I was thinking about the body of songs all together, and all of the things, this is like the first proper full-length Jenny songs album that I've put out in over a decade, which is a long time. Um, and I did a lot of things in that decade, right? Like I moved across the country, I moved back across the country, I got married, I got divorced, I fell in love again, and I wow. remarried. Um, and <laughs> all of those sort of like intense sort of like tectonic plates, right, have been like shifting around in my life and creating all of this sort of like disruption and like new geography and like the decimation of old geography and, and all of that. And to me, like when I was starting to look at the songs and all of the, the things that are within the songs, um, it felt like a different sort of uh, angle on the concept of Avalanche, like separate from the song, mm. is this sort of like this incredibly powerful force that you have no control over that like irreversibly changes the landscape that it impacts. And I felt like, um, you know, I felt like I, like a, like a really well wrung out dish rag by the time I got to like the end of writing these songs, Yeah. you know, and it, it just kind of felt like, um, my talk up, Topography, topography is yeah. you know completely different than it was ten years ago or even five years ago. Things things are just completely different, and I'm happy for that. Um, for all of the great forces that came together to make that the case, and that is why the record is called Avalanche. How did I do on a scale of one to ten? Do you feel like that was? Well, we'll okay? we'll go back to the tape after this, and then uh, and then we'll <laughs> we'll critique you. Okay, cool. Now, Thank you. Now I think, forward to your notes. You know, I think that was great. Again, JennyOwenYoungs.com is the website. It's a pleasure to meet you, and uh, again, this is the first time we've ever really heard your music, and I'm sorry to say that because you've been putting out music for a while now. Oh, what if I only just got okay? Yeah. You know, well. Well, now possible. I'm going to do the deep dive and listen to some previous <laughs> releases now. Um, but uh, we're, we're, we're happy to have you now. Thank you, you so know. much for, for playing the song and, and supporting the record. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Uh, this is the SoCal Sound. 
Want a high five or maybe fist bump, yes. something like that? All right. Oh, again, Everglades is the song right now here on the SoCal Sound. All right. 